I just don't. And if people have like a recency bias and people remember seeing the Chargers look awful on Monday night against the Jets, which they were. Still the won by 21. And they, and they won. <laughs> but people love the Lions. Yeah. I, I think it just goes back to the hard knocks last year. They love Dan Campbell and the rah-rah. And, and, and just, I think they're good. But I don't know if they're, like, you look at the win, Atlanta, Green Bay, Carolina, yeah. Tampa, Raiders, yes, they did win in Kansas City the first game of the year. That game. It's an opening Thursday night yeah. game. So, like, like that, that sh- stuff happens. Like, I don't think this char- the Chargers are an elite team by any means, but I don't think we're to the point where they should be a home underdog to yeah. the Lions. Here's my question about this game for you. So, Lions are off a of bye. Mm-hmm. Chargers play Monday Night Football mm-hmm. on the East Coast. Yep. Is there a little bit of this, like, Lions come out fast? Because I, I think Lions first half is a decent wager here. And can, are the Chargers, can they withstand being down 14 nothing? if the Chargers, I mean, if the Lions come out and blitz them off that bye? Can they, can they come back in this game? Yeah, I think they can. Okay. Yeah, because I, 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 I think the Lions do start fast because they're off the bye, though. It's a good coaching staff. They're, they're going to have something on offense, I think. Lions? Yeah, the Chargers. You would think so. I mean, hopefully their offensive line will hold up against a good Chargers patch up because certainly the uh, Jets' embarrassment what, of an offensive line. What is it about the Chargers? Like, I just watch them play, and I'm like... It's like the sum of the, sum of the parts doesn't equal... Like, it makes no sense. I want someone to be hired to help Justin Herbert out. Help my guy out. Even though I, I think there's some... His, he's, he's playing hurt. Like, he's clearly... The, the a finger that's yeah. like... You cast him, he can't fall. He's yeah. like fall down weird because he doesn't want to hit his finger. Yeah, I, you, you think so? All right. Let's get your other game before we get to Gamma Group Chat and uh, and our best bet later. Uh, Commanders plus six and a half at Seattle. Four, total is 45 and a half. Commanders are, are four and five overall. They're four, four, one against the spread. The Commanders just one and covered in New England. Seattle is five and three. They're four, three and one against the spread. Just got blown out by the Ravens, 37 to three. Where are we going here? And it wasn't that close. No, it wasn't. And, you, and usually teams that get blown out and embarrassed, come back with an inspired performance. But I'm not, I, people have the, like some people have the Seahawks team, like a fringe top 10 team, or maybe in the top 10, like in there, like, I don't see it. I don't think Seattle is good at all. Like the offensive line is bad. It's led to a predictable Geno Smith regression off of the absolute flu completion percentage year that he had last year, even the wins before the blowout. I mean, they should have lost to the Browns, PJ Walker on the home field. The Cardinals win in Arizona. Wasn't like need a field goal to cover that game inspiring. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not there. Like Washington's been in, in, in nearly every game that they play. Yeah. Like, like a couple, a couple, a couple of one, one, one score losses. The Eagles easily could have beaten the Eagles. Like I'm, I think they'll hang around here as well. I think Hal can have success yeah. against that defense. And I, I think six and a half here, even on the road, is the way to go. Sam Hal has been feisty the last couple of weeks, as we've seen. He, he can put the ball down the field, which is nice. They have, and they have the, the ability, especially if they're behind the games, to come back yep. because of their, exactly. of their wide receivers. But your, your thoughts about Seattle are, they are spot on, right? I mean, they have not played a good month of football. Lost the Bengals in a game in the red zone. We talked about this for weeks now. Yeah. They should have won that game. Come home and barely cover against Arizona, who's not any good anymore. The Browns, they come back from high. Like PJ Walker was all they did was scream to death. Yep. And then they got their butts kicked last weekend. So I'm with you on the commanders here, plus six and a half. Uh, so the two wagers so far for Bear, Chargers plus three, and the Commanders plus six and a half. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.